at the Open Innovation of Antimicrobial Surfaces, we are interested in um, working both with um, other academics within academia and also um, linking with um, small to medium sized enterprises and other industry, um, doing research that's um, moving technologies forward to develop coatings, um, inherent materials that are actually um, have antimicrobial properties, so things that stop um, microbes, bacteria, viruses, fungi, all of these um, small cells being able to find nice places on surfaces that they're happy. Because the problem is that a lot of technologies can look at um, trying to remove um, biofilms, which is what bacteria make when they can sit on a surface, proliferate, and then they almost make a little fortress for themselves and they are extremely difficult to remove when they've got to that stage. So instead of looking at how we can remove them when they're at this very advanced stage, we're trying to look um, right back at the start. And if we can stop them attaching initially, we can get rid of the problem when it's a much easier problem to deal with. Um, so this is being a this so to allow us to be able to do this kind of thing, we've got a whole host of techniques that allow us to both produce samples and to analyse them. And obviously XPS is is key to part of that. So we have the uh, Cratius Axis Supra instrument. Um, it's got a very large sample uh, plate size um, with respect to our other instruments, which is great. So it means that we're able to test a large number of samples in one go, um, which is great for when we're trying to look at small differences between samples that may have been in, um, so looking at different preparations or ones that have been subjected to uh, different conditions. So for example, if they've been subjected to different pHs and we want to see what's happened to the surface, whether they've released their active agent or if the microbes that had been on the surface have um, degraded it in some way. Um, and so we're able to um, assess the different chemical changes that have happened on the surface. The features that I personally find most useful on the Axis Supra, um, are the as I mentioned before, the sample uh, bar size is very useful. Um, it really means we can get through um, a high throughput of, of samples, which is ideal. The software is very user friendly and having the top down camera um, on the flexi lock, um, which allows you to set up um, a huge number of um, sample analysis points that you can then queue up your experiments that you want to do, leave it running all day, and you know um, that you're confident you're going to come back. It will have collected data that's sufficient for what you want for your analysis and um, without you having to sort of spend your entire day um, you know stuck to an instrument you can get on and do something else and come back and analyze the data at the end. Hopefully for the future of our work it's going to be continuing on trying to um, better develop these um, antimicrobial surfaces um, being able to um, really understand those uh, you know the chemical functionality and linking that very strongly to the um, uh, effect that you see in that antimicrobial effect. Um, so being able to develop better uh, better techniques and strategies for that. And XPS will be you know, ideally placed uh, for helping us with that. It's lovely having a mix of um, talks both from uh, other users as well as um, having a feel for what the guys at Kratos are, are doing, what kind of things are developing in, in the pipeline. Um, and it really helps start conversations and uh, you know, being able to liaise, not just with the guys at Kratos, but linking you up with other people in the, in the same uh, XPS community.